People complain about some like female movies and how come they don't do well in box office. Like the Marvels. Let's say the Marvels that just came out. Guess what? Uh, men don't like watching female only like characters, main characters. Just saying. And women wanted that, but yet women ain't the one going to support support the women. Why aren't they out there supporting the women watching the show? Warning. This video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. All right, welcome back, guys. So today we're going to check out 19 minutes of men refusing to help struggling modern women as society collapses. Let's check it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I've been assaulted by so many dudes. <laughs> I know it's hard to imagine that a woman like me, that it's even possible, right? Right? Because I know that's what you're going to say. <laughs> but you know what I've never felt unsafe around? A woman. Never in my life have I ever felt unsafe. Around. I would feel unsafe around you. Well, not one that wasn't my mother. <laughs> but men? <laughs> I've never felt safe around a man in my life. Try again. When the men start protecting women? Uh, as she, like, lives in a house that was probably built by a man. Just saying. Women, that would be when the humans lived in caves and gender roles weren't even a second thought. Let alone the word gender even existing. Yeah, starting way back then, up until modern times, men have continued to protect women. And maybe this uh, Kaween has been assaulted by men before. We don't know her past, but following it up by saying she is always feeling safe around other women just shows her feelings, not actual reality. It's no secret that lesbian and bisexual women have experienced far more forms of intimacy violations and assaults by their same gender intimate partners. Yep, backs. Like in the description. Damn! That, that's a fact. And to say she has never felt safe around the man in her life, well, does that mean she has lived in absolute fear her entire life? I mean, <laughs> the men who keep women safe are all around her, and no matter... Right? And the thing, too, like, I am guarantee you, she must... Like, she had to call the cops one time. Well, guess who's coming? A big, strong man! Just saying. No matter how hard she laughs at them, they still protect her. Liar! 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 Oh, you ladies don't buy that. Please tell us in the comments if it's men or women who make up the bulk of, oh, I don't know, law enforcement, yep. firefighters, or just said that. professions. And what about vital infrastructure? All women and living in cities and urban areas. Yes, who made it? Yes, ladies. Believe it or not, men compose the majority of construction workers, waste management, transportation workers. And the thing about it, too, is because most women don't want to do it. There are, there are women out there who do want to do it, but most women do not want to do that kind of work. Right? That's the, that's the fact out there. It's not like, like, oh, men are sexist. Men don't want the women doing... No! They just can't do that work. That's, that's it. It's simple as that. Men are just naturally stronger, bro. That's it. Like, I was watching Physical 100. I don't know if you guys watched that show. But you know there's women and men? That show? I'm going to put it there. A woman would never win that just because he's, she's playing against men. Like, these men that are working out all the, like, every single day. There's no way a woman would win that show. Because, like I said, men are just naturally stronger, so we, we know, okay? Sewage maintenance workers, yep. electricians, women ain't want that. Male carriers. I could go on, but I do wonder how women uh, like this one would react if these industries... And it's funny, they call it male carriers now. Before it used to be the mailman, now it's the male carriers, you know, try to be gender neutral. Broke down because of a lack of men. Yes, no, I am no, so no. sorry, you don't even know how sorry I am, I'm just being honest. Moving on. It's very classless to just like unless you're littering you're assuming that somebody else is going to pick it up because you've already made the choice to not pick it up basically what i feel is when you're at a restaurant and the food falls down it's not polite to just keep picking it up because it's unhygienic all right you don't keep doing that there's a service for that depends on the kind of place you're at and if you feel that okay something has fallen you go out and pick it up if you've dropped it and it's Within your reach, you go pick it up. But if it's like across the floor and across the restaurant, you're not going to sprint across the restaurant and pick something up. All right? That just like... So you're leaving it for six. So unless you're littering, you're basically yeah, acting like, like the manager is beneath you. But even if they are, don't act like it. I was like, you're not rich. Is this his date? 
is this is really his date doing this? Nah, I am getting up and walking out. Like, like straight. I'm out. Okay, you know what? It was nice. It was nice taking you out. It was good. I hope you enjoyed yourself. But I, I had to leave. Just like that. Family's not rich. We're, like, you act like an elitist. I'm just saying humility is important. Being a gentleman is important. Being classy is important. Okay, what about... I'm just saying I don't think it was very gentlemanly to make a freaking manager no, no, get it. No, you limited remains of your advice and saying like, oh, he's... Yeah, just humility. tell them. The man you flew across the floor and you let somebody pick it up. Wow. That's it. picked it up. Okay, info is very limited in this situation, but let me see if I understand exactly what was going on here. It looks like they are out on a date. It's not yep. clear if it's a first date or if they are a couple already. She has an issue with the fact his menu flew across what looks to be a good distance on the other side of the restaurant floor, and he didn't run after it and allowed a member of the uh, staff to pick it up. Got it. Ladies, I can say whether he is in the right or in the wrong can be debated in the same way we can debate if pineapple should be allowed to be a pizza topping. <laughs> two wrongs don't make a right. I mean, she is talking about class when she records her date, putting him on blast, yep. and saying he is broke and arrogant. Um, I am assuming the guy offered classy. to make a date, maybe. You think a classy woman is one who uh, tries to emasculate a guy while trying to make herself look virtuous on a video sharing platform? Yep. Yeah, it's also rude to nope. make a video on a date, but you do you, princess. I would say this is satire, but the guy seemed like he was having a legit uncomfortable reaction to her recording him. Yeah, he was. You didn't have to see that cheap looking uh, lipstick color she was wearing when she put the camera on herself. Hey, buddy, let me clue you in. Moving on. My son just fell in the store and hurt himself and he began to cry. He said it hurt really bad. And then out of nowhere, a man appeared to give his unsolicited advice. At first, I was terrified because nobody for it he told my son to toughen up that he wasn't in pain and that boys don't cry what i wanted to do was take that watermelon and shove it inside of his ass until it came out of his mother but i didn't do that <laughs> i explained to him that a lot of men don't know how to express their emotions oh now. my god they were forced to suppress it at a young age i also explained to him that toxic masculinity doesn't make you more of a man but more so of an ass that everybody f but All people right. just kind of tolerate yeah, I want to put it out there. The thing about it, women like this, I can tell, she's a reason why, okay? Men can't talk about their feelings because as soon as your man talks your feelings, you know, they're going to say this guy is soft, they lose interest. And she probably dates a guy who's like slaps her, but guarantee her baby daddy probably probably left her. And she's just a single mom raising, raising it because she didn't like it. I'm telling you, let's see. The sad reality is that some people aren't raising up little boys. They're raising robots, machines, or little soldiers that can't fight the demons in their hell-filled homes. Okay. But over here, little boys are human beings, and we're allowed to express ourselves. Listen, if you're bored, you could play Sudoku, you could play the lotto, you could play with your... Please stop playing with my mother kids. <laughs> okay. First of all, let me go on record yep. and say, regardless of my opinion of the man's advice or anything similar, this mom is in the right when she said it was unsolicited advice. Understandably, the man was acting in accordance to an era long gone, whereas a society we encourage men to give all boys guidance, regardless of relation. That time has passed. Yep. Men are not encouraged to do that anymore. Nope. That nope. said, nope. I find it amazing this woman thinks she can teach a boy how to be a man when she is not a man. Let's call it how it is. When single mothers cut off any kind of role model examples from other men, it just helps that uh, statistic of men raised in single mother homes are two to three times more likely to... Uh, Check into the uh, prison-like population. Hey, yep, Green, that's a fact. Really right when you say that's facts. Your kids, no one is arguing that. But when your kids grow up following your well-intended but misguided practice of raising a boy to be in touch with his fifis before anything else, yep. aka raising him as a girl, you get the end result of an ocean of young men who are going to have an even emotional more problems in life when reality conneries them in the face with an f your feelings existed. Yep, that's that shoe. It's it's hard out here being a man. That's the thing about it. I think this guy was trying to get a point across. Like, listen, I know you fell. I know it, it sucks. It hurts. But sometimes you just got to get up, deal with it, and keep moving. And that's the thing about it. Most men, like young men nowadays, they don't know how to deal with it. That's why a lot of them are transitioning over. They are confused. Like back then, they weren't confused. Like you look at schools like now versus back then, like America now versus America before, when they were kids were training. Men were training in the gym in school. Like these guys were bigger. Like why? 
do the kids back then look older than the kids now? Because they were they were real like strong men compared to now. Everyone's like, oh, express your feelings. Oh, let's. Oh, you you feel like you're you're sad. Oh, we got pills for that. Don't worry. They want to put the kids on some kind of drugs. Like why? I remember when I was raised by a single mom. Okay, and when I was a single mom, the thing about it, the doctors like said I was really really hyper. Oh, I had ADHD or something like that, and I couldn't stay still. They want to put me on drugs. My mom, thank God, my mom's like, nope, you ain't putting my son on no damn drugs. My son is hyper. I'm going to put his ass in sports, okay? So my mama put me in basketball. My mama put me in soccer. I was on the track team. And guess what? I think I'm pretty normal. Like, I'm older. I'm, I can relax. I just had a lot of damn energy. But nowadays, bro, they just think the kids got some problems and drugs will, will, will fix everything. That's that's one of the major things. Let me tell you, yo, we got this for your, your boy. Your boy can take this. Ritalin, your boy can take that. And that's the problem. Everyone wants to just hop on some drugs. Or or they want to diagnose as some kind of illness. Oh, I got anxiety. Oh, I can't go out. Or maybe try to. But no, they'd rather st stay their ass on drugs all day long. And that's the problem. Like, why? Why? Just, just try. Right? Like, that's the thing about it. And I feel like this is what they want. This is what these big drug comp companies honestly want. They want everybody to just be on drugs. Take out for the rest of your life and just that's it. That's it. All right? I don't know. That's just a my little rant, but yeah. As a man, the bulk of society is more interested in how productive you are. Not if a bowl of noodle soup is uh -huh. dry your tears. Yep. Don't believe me, ladies. What can you do? Look up uh, Nora Vincent's story. She walked a mile in a man's shoes. I remember that. It was a lonely walk. Moving on. It's hard. I now understand how people with children feel. I've just had to travel back from London to Nottingham with three bags and one suitcase. Oh, gross. It's fine. Is it? Because I got stuck in the barrio. They have a juicy couture suitcase, but it means absolutely nothing when you're having to call security over to help you get unwedged from the barriers. I'm mortified. Also, I thought I'll be a strong, independent woman. I'll put nope. it in the back of me Uber myself. No, you take a seat, son. You've already done enough today. Scraped his car. Cool. Uh, I... I said sorry, and he was like, it's, it's hard. I was like, is it though, or are you being polite? Also, I was absolutely wasting away on the train. I was perishing, and the only thing I had was hula hoops. Have you ever eaten a hula hoop on a train? It doesn't, it goes down like a sack of shark. I was getting stares because of how crunchy they were, so I felt intimidated, and now I've got a belly ache because I'm really hungry. <laughs> and now I don't even want the hula hoops because they've really traumatized me. Oh, boo hoo. Poor you, dear. It must right? be so horrible being a strong, independent woman having to carry all those bags through the uh, London train system. Irish independence. Someone put her in for a medal at the Victim Olympics. This is what I mean by women having the privilege of living life on easy mode. Sorry, queens, but the moment you put up videos like these complaining about such small, trivial things that for the most part, you modern women have achieved success, making it easier for men to uh, refuse to help in your struggles. Well, it's right. going to end up like her luggage over stuffed with too many things, and around and banged up. I promise all my female viewers that my male viewers, after seeing this rant, mm -hmm. were thinking, oh my. That sounds so wicked. I can't imagine ever having an equally tough day. I'm not saying <laughs> don't rant. I right. think if you put it out there, prepare to have it screwed. Yep. Isn't it funny? Yep, yep. Rarely if ever see. Yep, that's the thing about it. Like a lot of those women want to be, they say praise, oh, strong, independent, all oh, single ladies, whatever. Ah, that's not true. Like I've known a couple of girls, like growing up, they, they thought they were strong, independent. They tried to do anything themselves. Single moms. And now they told me they hate it. They hate it. They hate being the strong. They don't want to be independent no more. They want to have a guy in their lives. But now they're older. And uh, there's newer models out there. So they got to compete with the younger kids. And they got to compete with people who don't have kids. So it's like, at this point, you may be the hottest looking, like the best looking Ferrari out there. But ain't nobody dating you. Because you're, you're, you're a classic. Not everybody likes classics. Some people love classics, you know. Some people have, a, you know, they dream, they see that classic car. They're like, yo, I want that car. But then they realize they can't drive that car that very much. Because there's too many miles on it. Might ruin it. Right? And then they find out, yo, that car has some, like, luggage in the back. Nah, as a single man, probably, he's kind of like, okay, you know why you're a good woman? But, you know what? The next, next senorita walks by and she got no kids. She's looking like a brand new upgrade. More likely, I'm sorry, more likely the guy's going to go for the brand new upgrade, okay? 
So being strong, independent women is it's, it's not as great and glamorous, glamour, glamorous as they make it seem. Yeah, it may be fun for a while. As soon as you get old, guess what? You're going to be old and lonely with cats. All right? And that's the funniest thing about this whole story. The chick I know, she had one cat. Then she had two cats. Now she got three cats. You see where I'm going with this? You're going to become that crazy cat lady. I'm telling you. Watch yourself. If you guys are seeing this, you guys probably in the comments. Like some of you ladies might probably going to type in furiously. Just think about that. Do you have a cat? If you got a cat, don't be typing. I'm telling you, don't just stop typing. If you got a cat. A video put out there by a man stating he is a strong, independent man. Um, When women say independent, well, they are independent of what exactly? Men? Whatever. Right? Oh, what are you independent of? I.e., look, I'm a functioning adult. Cheer me as... Right? Oh, my God. That is such facts. I must be praised for... Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you want to get rewarded for being an adult? Like, like, get the hell out of here. What do you mean you want to be rewarded for being an adult? You got to do your adult things. Guess what? I got to do shit. I got to get up every morning and go to damn work. That's me being an adult. Oh, you cleaned the house? Oh, congratulations. Thanks for doing your part. I did my part too. Like, what? You're independent? Nah. Nah, you're just doing your part. We're, we're, we're adults. And as adults, you got to do your part. Right? Just saying. In taco. Yes. Wait, is it because I'm a girl? I'm not a bloke. Like, it's just so cruel. Okay, so. Let's see. This first is day. My first day on this apprentice job. This is like my first like proper job. Um, and they sent me to the shop to get some bits. So, when they asked me. Wait, get coffee? I've got a list here. <laughs> Water, hammer, 10 Let's foot see. fallopian tube. Copper magnets, tartan paint, and a long stand. I don't really know what these are. My dad used to do like stuff like this. Yeah, her dad. Um, so I thought, like, oh, following his footsteps. Uh, yeah, I think I'm at the shop, so I'm let's see. Update you uh when i've got the stuff <laughs> ladies let me make something clear to all of you regardless of which western country it is construction workers are a different breed of roughneck jerks i am not going to sugarcoat it they are like that with each other this shows how women consider equality a form of oppression once they get it roughnecks didn't treat her any different as they would a male apprentice they haze them early to gauge how sharp they are how well they are going to fit in and most importantly how they react under pressure and i have to say the bitch facts this was damn funny facts a pass on the Copper magnet, not many people know that copper isn't magnetic. The long stand would have been interesting to see. The tartan paint, aka cross pattern paint, was gold. But her being a woman and not catching on to the uh, fallopian tube joke. <laughs> right? That's golden. That was the crowning absolute jerk insert on that list. Am I the only one who wants to uh, read the rest of that list? No, yep. no, 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 no. I want to read the rest of the list. Okay back in the car now i see went into the shop i literally just like found like the first employee because i don't i don't know what these things are i've never really done this before went in and just went to like the first member of staff showed him the list and he's like stops laughing at me and i'm like <laughs> and then uh, just went down the corner. i would laugh at you too sweetheart and then i found like this guy he looks like an older guy and i was like okay this older man like he looked quite like sweet i was like he's probably gonna like hopefully like take pity on me tell me where this stuff is and then he starts like giggling and then like these two other lads like come around the corner they start laughing at me they're like oh look at the list look at the list i'm like what like i don't know what this stuff is like oh, then they fuck. look at the list they're like none of this stuff exists and i'm like what and i like have another look at the list and it's like 10 foot fallopian tube obviously that's not a thing and they're proper laughing at me and i've spent like so much time trying to get to the shop and then come back out i've been out for like nearly two hours trying to get this stuff i'm gonna go back to the site and then they're all gonna like laugh at me like, i don't know like what's the point like that's just so mean like, like is it because i'm a girl is it because I like, no I mean, no no honey I'm a bloke like is that what it is is that just oh let's just take the piss out of her because she's a girl like is that what what it is it's just so cruel well again it probably seems like cruelty to women once they get it sister let me help you out here you can stay in your car crying about everything or you can adapt and overcome which i highly recommend just go back to the work area with yep. a water bottle and tell them you found all the stuff but it was so heavy you couldn't bring anything smart else. yep and that's what most guys would do they would probably like shit they got me they got 
me. That, that, that's how we, I mean, we probably just laugh about it. Because that's what we have to do as men. We just laugh about that shit. We don't, we don't go sitting down crying. Uh, I can't believe they did that to me. No. They would just laugh about it. Ah, nice one. Don't worry. Next time, I'm going to get you ass, Jerry. Okay, Jerry? Watch your, watch your back, Jerry. I'm going to get you. The order is boxed up back at the store, and the store manager said to give the list to the biggest wanker you can find. So he can pick up the order himself. And you pass the list to the guy who gave it to you. Yep. And say, anything else any of you strong blokes need done? Or right. Your mom's already pack all of your lunches with extra... Easy. Hey, that's what that's what we say. It will work out better for you. It will show them you have thick skin, you can handle pressure well, and they know you are not a pushover. Man, I'm going to do all these things for the uh, strong and empowered modern Western women. Nope, it's your time to shine there, sweetheart. I mean, what right? Is, uh, exactly. Car and making an internet video about this actually accomplish, other than getting some awesome advice from a girl. Uh -huh. Squeeze me? Oh, no. I think they I think they're looking for that that pity. That's what she was looking for. She was looking for the pity. People are trying to be on her side, like, oh you poor thing. Those guys, you should probably report them to HR. Oh my god, I can't believe they did that to you. Like that's exactly what they're looking for. I feel like with social media, a lot of these girls go for attention, and that's the freaking problem. Like they get such easy attention and it's other girls doing it to them. Like hyping them up, like, oh my god, girl, it looks so good. Meanwhile, they look like crap and they won't tell them. Like, I'm like, guys, guys will be dead honest with you. Like, okay, you look bad. No, like, a guy would tell another guy, like, okay, you look fly, my guy. You look like a, like a real G. But girls, they don't care. You look bad, they'll, they'll tell you you look good. Oh, she can be a two, but you're a ten. And this is why all these ugly-ass girls think they're hot when they're not. Bro, go hit the gym. Some of these girls, you girls need to go hit the gym. I'm saying, I need to hit the gym. I can tell myself. You guys put in the comments, you need to hit. I know I got to hit the gym. But I'm telling you, I can take it. But can you take it? Can you, someone tells you go hit the gym, you're going to get insulted. You're probably going to start crying. I ain't going to make a video like, did I see that video about Kevo? Yeah, make a damn video about him. I'm, tag me in it. I want to see you make a video about me, okay? All right. You dick. Uh, moving on. All right, something just happened. I'm going to try not to cry. I think I did. Oh, my God. Already, but I was proper crying. I found it cringe when people cry on the internet. So I'm going to do it again without crying. Why? This, I, I don't like videos like this. Like, why do you need to film yourself crying? Like, what does that accomplish? If you're gonna cry, what's the point? Look for, again, looking for sympathy and pity. No man can go do, do that. We can't cry. Like, and they say, oh, it's okay to cry, but as soon as you start crying, people laugh at you. Look at, look at, look at, what's this? Tyrese. Tyrese cried on the internet. People made a meme of it. Uh, Kanye West cried about shit. People made a meme of it. Men are not allowed to cry. I'm just, I'm just saying. People gonna laugh at you. They're gonna be like, oh, you're, you're a soft you are. Everyone's gonna laugh at you. You can't cry on the internet. And tell me I'm wrong. And, that's, and it's not even our fault. It's mostly the women's fault. Because they ask us. They say, tell us our, our, our deepest affection or things that are bothering us. And then they go laugh at it. Right? I, I have any guy watching this, my advice to you, if something's really bothering you, bro, just tell your homie. Don't, don't ever tell your girl or, or, or any girlfriends. Because their advice is shit. How would, would they know how to deal with it? How? You, you, you don't ask a fish for advice how to fish. Just saying. So I went to the gym this morning, you know, and if you know me, I walk really, really fast. Um, I finished the gym, I left the gym, and I was at a crossroad. I wanted to cross, so I was that way, and a guy came that way, and we were, like, at the same level. So I literally just, like, cut in front of him, but, like, we had space to... And he ran um, you over? To walk the two of us. Even if I go in front of him, we had space. And um, so I was in front of him and then suddenly i'm like i start to fall so the guy behind me literally put his foot for me to fall so naturally what came out of me was like what the like literally out loud i was like what the fuck just happened like and the guy turned around massive guy like six uh -huh. foot plus and i'm five six you know and i'm like tiny he turned around like head to head to me and it was like what did you just said i don't want to act scared because no, like, I want to stand for myself. But, like, if the guy okay. decides to punch me, like, I'm done. And he said to me, he was like, am I not big enough for you to see that I was coming? Like, and you could stay behind me. I was okay. like, he was being a little, a little bit rude there. You to, like, trying to make me fall down. Like, who does that? Uh -huh. And he was like, the world you were looking was not but like, I'm sorry. And I was like, sorry for what? For wanting to walk fast and walk in front of you? Like, what the hell is that? 
Understandably, this queen is very emotional at this point, and her rant isn't making the most of sense. But piecing everything together, she claims a large man was trying to trip her and he was demanding an apology from her when she was passing him by. We were not there, so obviously we can't know for certain what exactly happened. Is it possible he was trying to get her to fall down? Absolutely it is. But later on in the video, she admits uh, this happened in a public area with other witnesses. I don't want to say I don't believe her as if it didn't happen yeah. exactly as she claims, but let's be honest here. If a large man tried to assault a small woman in a public area with witnesses, this would be a video of her talking about him getting arrested. This story is Facts. and missing some mm -hmm. details. I mean, mm -hmm. there was plenty of space between mm -hmm. when she crossed in front of him, how exactly was he able to uh, trip her if he walks slower than her? Why would he uh, demand an apology from her if he was intentionally rude? Don't get me wrong, ladies. I'm not justifying anyone in this situation. I'm just asking some obvious questions uh -huh. that aren't really adding up that much. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? What man has such a big ego that I can't walk in front of him? Like, this is mental to me. And then he leaves and I'm like raging and he's in front of me. So I'm trying to keep my distance. But obviously he walks slow and I walk fast. At some point we're at the same level. And many, many people walk past him. Many people like come to him like and walk past him. So at some point I wanted to do the same. So imagine he... So she admits she saw him. The same. That's him. And then I'm coming on this side. And when he see me coming, he pushed me like that on the side. So I almost fell for the second time. So now we have a full on argument on the street and I'm like, can you stop doing this? He was like, what were you trying to do again? You're trying to walk past me and you need to say sorry, which I did. I was like, sorry, but he pushed me again. So I started to lose it and like scream at him and like, seriously, what's your problem? And two other men, no one did anything. And two other men saw it and they were like, oh, stop moaning, carry on your, yeah. your day. So yeah, those. So two other men saw it, there was witnesses. So that tells you they probably saw what happened. She probably walked into him. All right, that's what probably happened. And that's why he wanted to apologize from her. But she she feels too entitled to say, you know what? My bad. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. She expected him to do. Like, come on. I thought you guys want equal rights. Right? If you're wrong, you're wrong. This man did nothing. They just told me stop moaning. Yeah. But seriously, something needs to be done because this kind of behavior is not what? acceptable. I know it's minor compared to other like problems that can happen with female and that. But it's like, really? And that's what that makes me laugh when people are like, yes, yeah, strip clubs are not safe. We need to close them down. That create violence against women. Please, I feel safer in, in my club than in any other normal nightclub or on the street. She's a stripper. Or, you know, like in a shop or whatever. Do you know? Whoa. Anyway, okay. Kama is gonna look after him. No worry for him. And I'm gonna carry on my day and try to be happy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She claimed other people passed the guy with no issues. Then she tried uh -huh. to pass again. He shoulder pushed Hotter. her and two random men who were there and witnessed what happened told her to stop moaning about the incident. Am I seriously the only one who finds the story sus so and something sus. needs to be done? Sweetheart, something has already been done. It's called equality under the law. Women can defend themselves legally against men if he is completely in the wrong and you can prove it with witness statements. Go ahead and file charges. I'm sorry, princess, but that uh, Believe All Women Always movement got an Amber Heard and reality yep. check of why it's important for uh, everyone to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Yep. And the thing about it too now, because of that whole case, like, no many, I know guys who got charged falsely by women, okay? Like, got a charge, like assault charges. Women say, oh, yeah, he beat me. And some girls have no marks on them. Like, they have zero marks. But yet, they're like, oh, he punched me in the face. He grabbed my arm. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There are some guys who are bad. There's obviously bruises. Like, you clearly see but there are the ones where nothing happened and the guy still gets charged, has to go to court, do all that fun stuff. Well, not fun stuff, all, all that stuff. And then to find out, oh, uh, I, I, I kind of lied. Uh, uh, yeah, it didn't really happen like that. And meanwhile, the guy, now the guy got charged, he spent time in jail. He lost, probably lost work. He probably lost, lost his place, who knows? Because you never know. Who knows if you had to pay, pay for bail. And the thing about after everything, most of the time, the women just, they just go free about their business. I think it's time that changes. Like, honestly, that needs to change. And if you fall, you try to charge somebody and it's falsely, like found falsely, you should be able to charge that person right back and that person gets some jail time. I'm telling you, because at this point, they admitted or the, the court found that that person was wrong, wrongfully charged. You're actually going to jail instantly. Instantly. If you can't prove the guy did it, Instantly, you need to go to jail. Just saying, instantly. 
I'm not saying she should be afraid to work out. I am saying if you're wronged, you should be versed in your local laws and prepared to state your case with law enforcement. Either that or start your own club and don't let those big scary men in. No, 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 no. In fact, didn't those exist at one point? I think they were called female only gyms. So how many of those are left right now? Oof. <laughs> Oh my God, that is so right. Those female only gyms didn't work out so well. I, that, that's so true, oh my God. Like what happened to all those female only gyms? Like they legit just died out. Like <laughs> that, that tells you when females go to females only gyms, they weren't getting as much attention. So guess what? They decided let's go back to the, the unisex gym. You know, everybody, cause they get more attention from guys. Because girls ain't checking them out. Unless they're, you know, the, the, the lesbian kind of girls are checking them out. But that's not what they want. So let, let's squat. Let's just squash that all female only gym. Let's, 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 let's all, you know, kumbaya. I think we need to bring back female only gyms. Because the thing about it, if they had men only gyms as well, men don't care. We, we don't care. We know why we're there. We're there to work out and look good. We're there to get bigger. We're there to look good. And that, that's it. Nothing else. We don't care. Okay? Men will help each other, other work out. Females, no. And that's the thing about it too. Even some of these, these movies, like I was talking about this with my friend the other day. People complain about some like female movies and how come they don't do well in box office. Like the Marvels. Let's say the Marvels that just came out. Guess what? Uh, men don't like watching female only like characters, main characters. Just saying. And women wanted that. But yet women ain't the one going to support, support the women. Why aren't they out there supporting the women watching the show? Women don't like women, okay? Women don't like women. Men are the one going to movies. We're going to watch our Mally shows. So all like Marvel, if Marvel doesn't stop doing what the shit they're doing right now, I'm telling you, they're going to they're gonna be bankrupt, all right? They're hoping that this, this new movie that's coming out, what's that, Deadpool 3? That better be the manliest shit ever because Marvel needs that right now, okay? Because trust me, men are the one going to be watching it. They're going to be filled the damn movies up with them, man. Or we're going to drag our, our girlfriends with us and be like, yo, you watch this with me? Or if you're not going, okay, I'm with my buddies. All right, I'm out. Bye. Peace. You want to go? Peace. That's it. Simple as that. All right? So, just saying. I mean, if female-only gyms were that profitable, they right. would still be around. Nope. Maybe just Gone. Maybe women want to be in gyms with men. I'm just saying. That's a lot of facts. I'm telling you, because women don't support women. Men support men. That's why men get paid for a lot more, okay? Basketball, I hear women complain, oh, men get paid more. Guess what? I don't watch women's basketball. Why don't the women watch women's basketball? Because they don't like it. Okay? That's why the NBA gets paid. NBA players get paid way more. That's why soccer, men soccer players get paid way more. Women ain't supporting women. Men love sports. We're the ones who like sports. So we go watch our, we support our, our team. Women don't support their own damn team. Just saying. I'm not speaking hate. Okay? Sure. There are probably are women out there who go support. That's great. You can go support. But don't get mad at the men. That's, that's, all, that's all we're trying to say. Don't get mad at the men if, if things are not changing. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm out. Bye.